Hi little skeletons, it is Disney Queen Skelly here. Welcome back to another Fun Facts video. So this Fun Facts is for Bambi and it is a redo. So if you guys haven't seen my first one, I recommend going to go watch that before you watch this one. But if you don't want to, that's fine. And so like I said guys, with the movies, the Fun Facts tend to be a little bit longer. So um, either way, I hope you enjoy these Fun Facts for the movie Bambi. Man is in the forest was a code phrase used by Disney's, Disney's employees when Walt Disney was coming down the hallway. No matter how skilled the animator, the Disney cartoonist simply could not draw Bambi's father's antlers accurately. This was because of the very complicated perspectives required. Not to get around the problem, a plaster cast was made of some real antlers which was then filmed at all angles. This footage was the rot rotoscope was then rotoscoped onto animation cells. Unusual for the time, Walt Disney insisted on children providing the voices for the animals when they were young instead of using adults mimicking youngsters. Animation from this film has been reused more often than animation from any other Disney film. Usually it is used as incidental animation of bir birds, leaves, and the like. Only a few of the major characters have been reused. Bambi's mother, for example, appears in the very first shot of Beauty and the Beast 1991 and is the quarry of both Kayan, the Sword and the Stone, 1963, and Shere Khan in the Jungle Book, 1967. Bambi and his mother fully appear then in The Rescuers, 1977. Six-year-old Peter Ben auditioned with several other children for the voice roles of Mother Rabbit's children. When Ben said the line in reference to Bambi, Did the young prince fall down? A casting director who was watching the audition in another room shouted, Get that kid out of here. He can't act. However, the Disney animators who heard the audition tape loved the sound of Ben's voice. Ben was called back to the studio, and the character of Thumper was created largely based on his vocal performance. Man was ranked the number 20 villain on the American Film Institute's list of the 100 greatest heroes and villains, the only character on the list not to appear on screen. Two asteroids have been named after Bambi and Thumper. Bambi 1942 is Walt Disney's personal favorite of all his animated features. The look of the film was inspired by the work of Tyrus Wong, a Chinese animator whose sketches used softened backgrounds. This meant that the focus was squarely on the beautifully drawn animals. One of the discarded characters from the original novel is Gobo. He is featured in the novel as Feline's twin brother and Bambi's first cousin. His death is a major plot point of the novel. Gobo was found by a man while wounded, nursed back to health, and released back into the wild. He concluded, he concluded that man should not be feared and later willingly approaches a hunter who simply kills him. In December 2018, a Missourian poacher was sentenced to one year in prison for illegally killing deer for trophies. As part of his penalty, he was required to watch this movie once a month. The character of Thumper, called Bobo in the first draft, does not appear in Felix, Felix Salton's original novel. He was added by Walt Disney to bring some much-needed comic relief to the script. The first and one of the few Disney features where the songs were not sung by any of the film's characters. Each song was either sung off-screen by a soloist or a choir. It was also Walt Disney Animation Studios' only non-musical film, with songs sung in the background until Tarzan 1999, released 57 years later. The last full-length animated feature made by Walt Disney until Cinderella in 1950. The gap was due to the lack of film workers who were in the military service and materials necessary to make films when World War II was going on. Disney animators spent a year studying and drawing deer, a fawn and fawns to perfect the look of Bambi and his parents and friends. Deer are notoriously difficult to render in human terms as their eyes are on either side of their face. Their mouth does not lend itself to speech, and they have no real chin. Ultimately, animator Mark Davis resolved these difficulties by infusing the character of Bambi with the traits of a human bob baby. The Maine Development Commission sent two fawns, appropriately named Bambi and Feline, to the Disney studio to be kept as pets while artists studied their movements and behavior. When they were fully grown, they were released at nearby Griffith Park. Other animals, such as skunks and squirrels, were kept in the Disney Zoo for similar purposes. The Disney Studios were walking a very precarious line financially and were 
constantly on the verge of bankruptcy. A studio strike and, of course, the outbreak of war which deprived them of their lucrative European market didn't help matters. Disney was able to secure another loan from the Bank of America, but when both Pinocchio 1940 and Fantasia 1942 failed at the box office, a lot was riding on Bambi 1942 to be a success. Some scenes of woodland creatures and the forest fire are unused footage from Pinocchio 1940. Donnie Dunnigan kept his role of young Bambi quiet while in the Marines, as he feared he would pick up the nickname Bambi. He would have a remarkable career in the service, becoming the youngest drill instructor in its history, rising to the rank of major and serving in the Vietnam War, where he could be, where he would be decorated for valor, valor, and wounded three times. The key scene of the novel missing of the film is Bambi's realization that man is neither all powerful nor immortal. It comes when the prince of the forest shows Bambi the corpse of a man shot by a fellow human. For the film's Platinum Edition DVD release in 2005, over 110,000 frames were cleaned up individually, requiring more than 9,600 hours of work. This was done from a copy of the original nitrate negative borrowed from the Library of Congress. There were approximately, approximately only 1,000 words of dialogue and throughout the entire film, then the rest is all silence. Bambi premiered August 8, 1942 in London, a very daring move in the midst of war, and a few days later in New York. Despite going reviews, it was an initial box office disappointment. This prompted Disney to re-release Snow White in the Seven Dwarves 1937 in the summer of 1944, a tactic that the studio regularly adopts now for all of their animated features. Donnie Dunnigan, who was the voice for young Bambi, also was the model for Bambi's facial expressions. A test animation of Baby Bambi stuck on a fallen tree trunk was sufficiently charming to convince Walt Disney to make the film. The movie lost money at the box office for the first run, but began to recap its considerable cost over $2 million during the 1947 re-release. Austrian writer Felix Salton, real name Siegmund Selzman, an insurance clerk who began to write out of boredom, got the inspiration for his novel during a trip to Italy when he became fascinated with the Italian word bambino, which means small boy. Before he died, the last request from Frank Churchill, the composer who scored the music for this film, was the film's song Love is a Song be dedicated to his wife, Carolyn, who was Walt Disney's personal secretary from 1930 to 1934, after she married Frank. But Walt had to deny the request since the song had already gone to the publisher. The original novel, Bambi, A Life in the Woods, 1923, is not a work intended for children, and Walt Disney toned down much of the mat material. By one description of the novel, it consists of 293 pages packed with blood and guts action, sexual conquest, and betrayal. The forest characters include cutthroats and miscreants, including six murderers. The planned scene which had man die in the forest fire he started in the first place was conceived to depict poetic justice, death as a consequence of his own actions. It had to be discarded when the staff decided to keep man off screen for the entirety of the film. The release gap between the film and its sequel, Bambi and the Great Prince of the Forest, 2006, was 64 years. It holds the world record for the longest span of the time of time between two consecutive installments of a franchise. Pre-production began in 1936 as, and was intended to be Walt Disney's second full-length animated film after Snow White and the Seven Dwarves 1937. Disney's perfection and quest for realism delayed the project significantly, so that Pinocchio 1940, Fantasia 1940, The Reluctant Dragon 1941, and Dumbo 1941 were released earlier than Bambi. Thumpers and the Squirrels designs could also be seen for the animals in Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, 1937. The opening multiplane shot is one of Disney's biggest use of the multiplane. It had been used on scenes in The Old Mill, 1937, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, 1937, Pinocchio, 1940, Fantasia, 1940, and Dumbo, 1941. Castle Thunder. Heard a few times when the storm in the April shower sequence is about to start. It's also heard when the storm clouds are beginning to part and the sun begins coming out. According to animator and writer Mel Show, 1914 to 2012, one reason for the production delays of the film was that Walt Disney and his staff kept having ideas about new scenes and characters. 
spent time developing them, and then had to discard them because they did not really fit in the film. He described an example. A brief scene was originally set to have Bambi step on an ant hill and depict some disturbed ants. Then the staff started working on elaborate depictions of the damage done to the ant civilization and detailed plans for the ant characters. At the end, it was decided that the entire scene was irrelevant to the plot, and they discarded all work done for it. The copyright status of the Bambi character and other Disney characters based on the original novel by Felix Salton have been in dispute. Salton copyrighted the novel and characters. He sold the film rights to Sidney Franklin, but retained all other rights. Franklin passed his rights to Walt Disney, who did create a film based on them. However, Disney went on to use the character in comic books and other media which were not explicit by co explicitly covered by the original deal. Salton and his family, who continued to hold the rights to the novel and characters until 1939, never challenged this practice. In 1993, the Salton family rights were sold to publishing house twin books. The new owners soon sued the Disney company for copyright infringement while several trials have resulted from the dispute. They were inconclusive. Both companies maintain rights to the versions of the same characters. When Bambi is fighting Rono, it's easy to tell who's winning when you look at the colors in the background. When Rono is winning, the colors are green, blue, and black. When Bambi is winning, the colors are yellow, orange, and sometimes pink. This is all explained in the commentary by Walt Disney himself in the two-disc Platinum Edition. One of the discarded ideas for the film was to depict Bambi's mother death on screen. It was regarded as too dramatic to include. The movie is responsible for the so-called Bambi confusion, Bambi Irtum, in German-speaking countries. In the book, Bambi is a roe deer, German re. But since there are no roe deer in the U.S., Walt Disney changed Bambi's appearance to that of a white-tailed deer, which in turn is unknown in Europe. However, both the original German dubbed version from 1950 and the redubbing from 1973 stuck to the original Felix Salton version and called Bambi a roe deer instead of a stag, German Hirsch, which would be a lot more correct since the appearance of Bambi's father and Bambi in adult life resemble a red deer, which is common in Europe. A lot closer than the adult roe deer, Kids in German-speaking regions for the past 60 years have come to believe that a re, roe deer, is the younger version of a rot, hirsch, red deer. This confusion has never really been cleared up for many, for many, so that this is now even taught to children by their parents who saw the movie when they were young. Sidney Franklin originally initiated Bambi as a film project in 1933, envisioning it as a live-action film. He had even gone to the stage of recording Margaret Sullivan and Henry Fonda's voices. Eventually, he realized that the technology simply wasn't adequate enough to make the film. After seeing Snow White and the Seven Dwarves in 1937, it, down, it dawned on Franklin that there was someone who could realize Bambi as a movie. So he contacted Walt Disney, who immediately le leaped at the idea of working on the project. Disney started working on the film in 1936, though he was also developing Fantasia in 1940, Dumbo 1941, and Pinocchio 1940 at the same time. All this explains why there's a dedication in the film's opening credits to a Sidney A. Franklin, our sincere appreciation for the aspiring collaboration. June 2008, ranked number three on the American Film Institute's list of the 10 greatest films in the genre animation. In the original novel, Bambi and Feline are first cousins. Feline is the daughter of Aunt Edna and the sister of Bambi's mother. Walt Disney probably discarded the detail because of mating of first cousins would be considered incest. This is the first Disney animated feature film to not have any humans and only one to do so until Robin Hood 1973. An unnamed squirrel and an unnamed chipmunk briefly appear in the film. They were originally supposed to have a larger role in the film as a comedy duo. They would be the film's own version of Laurel and Hardy. Walt Disney decided to cut their scenes and focus on the leading trio of Bambi, Flower, and Thumper. Both Thumper and Flower are original Disney creations. Selected by the Library of Congress for presentation in the National Film Registry, for preservation in the National Film Registry in December 2011 as being culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant. When the film staff decided to add 
graphic characters to the film, they took an idea from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, 1937. The plan was to develop six rabbits with individual personalities and looks similar to the dwarves from the previous film. Pierce P Purse Pierce then had a different idea. He suggested to depict six rabbits, but to depict five of them with generic looks and personalities. The sixth one would have distinctive color action, coloration and personality to allow him to stand out. Pierce's idea for the unique rabbit was developed into Thumper. The world premiere of this film was scheduled to be in the tiny Lincoln Theater in Demenskota, Maine, USA. Maurice Day, an animator with Disney, brought Felix Salton's book to the attention of Walt Disney, and when Disney decided to make the movie, he thanked Maurice by planning to hold the premiere in Maurice's hometown. However, the state of Maine objected, fearing that hunters would be offended by the film, and the actual world premiere was elsewhere. The film briefly depicts two realistic leaves falling into the ground. The original plan was, however, to have the leaves be sentient and conversing like, old, like an old married couple while falling down. Walt Disney thought that the talking flora did not fit this film and revised the scene. Bambi, A Life in the Woods, 1923, is credited for being one of the first environmental novels. Several American film critics of the 1940s gave this film negative reviews primarily because it lacked the fantasy elements of previous Disney releases. To design Bambi's scenes, Walt Disney traveled to Argentina in 1941, and there he was inspired in the forests of Nikin province in the southwest of that country. The scenes depicted, depicting Bambi and Thumper on the icy pond was based on live-action references. The movements studied were those of actresses Jane, of actress Jane Randolph, 1915 to 2009, and figure skater Donna Atwood, 1925 to 2010. Henry Fonda was considered to voice Bambi as an adult. Reissued in the spring 1966, Bambi 1942 was the last Disney animated film to be reissued in Walt Disney's lifetime. The next reissue, that of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, 1937, would not occur until the summer of 1967, six months after Walt's death. The setting up of Bambi's battle with rival stag Rono is based on fact with one omission. During the mating season, the white-tailed deer of a certain area congregate to a, in, into a close-knit herd, the omission, and battles between stags occur when a stag Bambi follows a doe in heat, Feline, into the territory of another stag, Rono. The original novel, Bambi, A Life in the Woods, 1923, along with the rest of, the, of Felix Salton's books, was banned in Nazi Germany. Salton was a prominent Austrian Jew, and his works were included in the prohibited Jewish literature. The original novel, Bambi, A Life in the Woods, 1923, had a sequel. Author Felix Salton released Bambi's Children, the story of a forest family, in 1939. Disney never received the rights to the second book. While Bambi, A Life in the Woods, 1923, is Felix Salton's best-known work in the English-speaking world, his reputation in the German-speaking world rests on an entirely different work. The erotic novel Josephine Mutzenbacher, 1906, by Salton, has been a bestseller for over a century, has received sequels and derivative works by other writers, and received several adaptations into theater and film. Bambi and his mother had a cameo in the hunting-themed animated short No Hunting 1955, which starred Donald Duck. Bambi's mother says, Man is in the forest. Let's dig out. Bambi doesn't speak until 13 minutes into the film. In the original script for Who Framed Roger Rabbit 1988, it was Judge Doom who shot Bambi's mother. This was only the first Disney film based out of Felix Salton's work. The novel Perry 1938 by Salton was a adapted into Perry, 1957. The novel the, ha the Hand of Florence, 1923, by Salton was the basis of The Shaggy Dog, 1959. Walt's, Walt Disney's fifth full-length movie. Felix Salton, the Austrian creator of Bambi, went into self-exile to escape the Nazi domination of Austria. He settled in Switzerland in 1938 and died there in 1945. The, pro the production of the film was a slow process. Walt Disney acquired the film rights in 1937, but it took two years for the initial storyboards to develop. Production begun of mid-August 1939, but the writing and rewriting process only ended the July in, in July 1940. 
It took more two more years until the film was read, read, ready for release. One of the reasons for the film's initial failure at the box office was that if it was that it was released in fewer markets than its predecessor than its predecessors. Events of the European theater of World War II and severance of relations of the United States with Axis Powers members resulted in the film not being released in most of Europe and Japan. Bambi and his supporting characters were adapted into the Disney comics in 1942. They have had several appearances over the decades, either starring in stories of their own or appearing in other characters. Bambi himself has had crossovers with characters such as Goofy, Seven Dwarves, The Wicked Witch, Chip and Dale, Dumbo, and Timothy Mouse. Including among, included among the American Film Institute's 1998 list of the 400 movies nominated for the Top 100 Greatest American Movies. Felix Salton, the, center of, the creator of Bambi, sold the film rights to the original novel for only $1,000. The Disney film is the first of two adaptations of the original Bambi novel. The other is the Soviet film Bambi's Childhood, 1985. It received its own sequel, Bambi's Youth, 1987. For cost-cutting reasons, 12 minutes of the film were cut before final animation. This was the first Disney animated feature film released following the entry of the United States in World War II. The forest setting depicted in the film was based on the forests of Maine and Vermont. Maurice Jake Day provided detailed sketches and photographs of the forests and their wildlife. While the sequel novel Bambi's Children, the story of a forest family in 1939 never received a film adaptation, it received a 56 pages long comic book adaptation by Dell Comics in 1943. The story was drawn by Ken Holtgreen. Disney has the copyright of the comic book adaptation. The henchwomen Bambi and Thumper of the James Bond film Diamonds Are Forever 1971 are named after the Disney characters. There is a minor animal character in the Marvel comic series Defenders called Bambi. He is named after the Disney character since he is a younger young deer who had his mother shot by hunters. He was created by Steve Gerber and Sal Buscema, Buscema and used in a few stories in 1976. This is the only Disney animated film released in the 1940s to be given a straight-to-video follow-up, being a mid-quill set where Bambi as a fawn with his father saying, Come, my son. Following his mother's death, gets left off being Bambi and the Great Prince of the Forest 2006. The movie was set for a world premiere at Radio City Music Hall in New York City on the 30th of July 1942, but was delayed due to the extended run of Mrs. Miniver, Miniver 1942. The sequel, Bambi's Children, the story of a forest family 1939 by Felix Salton, features Bambi and Feline's twi twin children. They are called Gino and Gurry. Feline also adopts orphan fawns Nello and Membo. The animators working on the deer characters had to study the shape, structure, and movement of the real animals to produce more realistic designs. They had no previous experience doing so, and the only previous animated deer in Disney's history were minor characters from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, 1937, with realistic, unrealistic designs. Final film to feature Frank Churchill as the composer. The film was released posthumously. Palm... Paula Winslow, who voiced Bambi's mother, married John Sutherland, who voiced Bambi as an adult. In the original novel, Bambi is a roe deer, but those aren't native to North America, so Walt Disney changed him into a mule deer. They didn't get released in Japan until 1957. This was originally meant to be Disney's second full-length feature, but there were difficulties in animating deer realistically, so the project was delayed. Pinocchio 1940 was the second feature from the studios. Bambi lost money at the box office for its first release. Out of its $1.7 million budget, it only grossed back $1.64 million. This is the first Walt Disney Animation Studios film to use the character designs in which the eyes of the characters looked a little different from previous features. Films in the future such as Lady and the Tramp 1955, Oliver and Company 1988, The Little Mermaid 1989, The Rescuers Down Under 1990, Beauty and the Beast 1991, Aladdin 1992, the Lion King 1994, The Hunchback of Notre Dame 1996, Tarzan 1999, Atlantis, The Lost Empire 2001, Lilo and Stitch 2002, Treasure Planet 2002, Brother Bear 2003, The Princess and the Frog 2009, would use this style of character I designed. The second Disney animated feature film to be based off of a novel after Dumbo 1941. The first Disney animated feature film to be composed by Edward H. Plum, 
who eventually became a recurring composer after Frank Churchill, Leah Harlan, Paul J. Smith, and Oliver Wallace. The first Disney animated feature film to release in May. The film released the same year of the birth of David Ogden Steers, who would later voice characters in Walt Disney Animation Studios films from 1991 to 2002. The first Disney animated feature film to not contain any musical elements. Starting with Tarzan 1999, all films in the Disney animated classics lineup would not be musicals with the exceptions of Princess and the Frog 2009, Tangle 2010, Winnie the Pooh 2011, Frozen 2013, Moana 2016, and Frozen 2 2019. Alright guys, from here on in, there are spoilers, so if you wish to stop watching now, please do so. If not, you may continue. One of the many rejected ideas was to show the hunter killed by the very forest fire that he had accidentally started. In the original script, Bambi was shot instead of his mother, but Walt Disney dismissed the idea and moved the shooting to Bambi's mother. Bambi does get shot later in the film, but he survives. The hunter who shoots Bambi's mother was originally going to be included as, the character, as a character in the movie, but for a man to shoot the mother of the hero, he would have to be clearly cruel and villainous for the children to accept him. Since Walt Disney didn't want to be seen as a Maligning hunters as evil, the character was cut and never shown in the final version of the film. The death of Bambi's mother is often considered to be the saddest and most heartbreaking moment of any film in the Disney canon. It only rival in that respect is the Lion King 1994 when the title character's father dies. Bambi was originally supposed to go back to his mother after she was shot and find her in a pool of blood. This idea was scrapped. Walt Disney and his staff attended a preview of the film in a Pomona theater on February 28, 1942, only a few months before the film was released. During the screening, the audience remained quiet. Walt didn't know whether they were spellbound or bored. The audience was shocked by the scene of Bambi's mother being shot to death, but when Bambi started looking around for her and calling out to her, asking where she is, a teenager in the audience answered, Here I am, Bambi! causing everyone else in the audience except Walt's staff to howl with laughter. Walt and his staff left the theater in disappointment, but Walt refused to cut the scene from the movie, insisting that the movie was right as it was. Bambi's mother's death is considered to be one of the most tragic, heartbreaking moments ever, not only in Disney movies, but movies in general. The deer the, that Bambi fights is named Rono. In this film, he has no dialogue, and his name is never used anywhere in the film itself. He later, has a fa as a fawn, gets a large role in the midquel Bambi and the Great Prince of the Forest 2006. It includes having his name mentioned. Generations of children have been reduced to floods of tears at the sight of Bambi's mother being killed, then as adults they still refuse to watch this heartbreaking scene ever again. Even though the Doe's traumatic death is purely in their imagination and not actually in the movies. Bambi races through the snow, chased by his mother, urging him to keep running. The music suddenly stops as he is seen for, as she is seen for the last time, leaping from one mound of snow to the other. Then as Bambi gambles through the snowy gap past some spindly trees, a gunshot rings out on the soundtrack only. Many movie watchers in the 1940s were not prepared to see killing in a Disney movie in any Disney movies at the time, which is pretty common nowadays showing the protagonist's relatives, spouse, or parents killed in the movies to make a deeper and sadder story. This was the first Disney film to bring this out to the public. And those are your fun facts for Bambi, 1941, 1942, 1940s. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. If you stuck out this long, thank you guys so much. <laughs> I know these can be longer but I hope you guys like them nonetheless. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. Love you guys.